Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I was going through my stuff. I'm moving stuff downstairs and I found this that my daughter made um, last year and she made it with, obviously you could see the hoop that was in it, but she made it with embroidery thread and did it all herself by hand. So I thought I would grab my So Soft by Deco Art fabric paint and I would paint inside and then um, maybe even uh, just hang it in a little frame because I absolutely love it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to come on and, and try it and try out this fantastic paint and see how it works. I've not used it uh, on something like this where I'm going to be painting. Now they do sell fabric paint brushes for your deco art. Um, I don't happen to have any, so I'm just going to use what I have. But if you have, you know, if you have them, by all means, use them. So I'm just going to use my Martha Stewart little ones. And I'm going to go in first with some black to do the nose. And I'm just going to shake this up. They are one ounces, and this is called Lamp Black. And I'm shaking it. And I'm just going to put some on and go in and paint. And I have no idea if this is going to work how I have it in my head, but I'm going for it. Okay, goes on, the paint goes on wonderfully. Look how fast that was. I'm gonna move it in just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. It helps me see a little bit because of the stitches. I wanna make sure I get that in there. Okay, let me read the directions on here real quick to you guys, just so you're aware. Uh, Pre-wash your fabric, no softeners put in it, so you can't put your downy and fabric softeners. Apply with brush, sponge, or a stamp. A base coat of So Soft Transparent Medium will improve the ease of the brush application. application. Dry 48 to 72 hours, wash inside out on gentle cycle and dry low heat. So you're gonna see me using these a lot coming up um, because I, I'm just very, very excited for this and I have a lot of, um, fabric stuff coming up. As soon as I get downstairs and get that all finished uh, up down there, I'm going to be going to town. So now I want to do the eyes. What color do I want to do in the eyes? I think I want to do, let's do a uh, bright pink. It's called dark rose. And this is all in the so soft line. And I'll put the deco art link down below. But let me tell you, if you go to uh, AC Moore, uh, I think Joanne's actually started to uh, carry a lot of these from Deco Art. So, but check out your craft stores because you will, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do pink on the outsides here. I'm just going to dot in on these. I'm going to do yellow on the inside. I think that would look good. But go check out, you know, I'll put the Deco Art link to the products down there, down below. Because they are fantastic. I'm so in love with these products. And I have a lot of, uh, a lot of fun stuff coming up. I always say that, but to me it's fun. Maybe not to you guys, but. I love when I find things. I mean, like who would have thought you could paint, you know, I mean, I can just let this dry and it's going to be fantastic. I don't have to iron it. I don't have to, you know, where some of them you do. Now, I'm not sure uh, on all of the other paint stuff out there. I use a lot of the paint from oh, Folk Art. I love to create. Is that Folk Art? Uh, I have a lot of their sprays and that kind of stuff. I will even use in my mixed media. Uh, and they're, you know, they're good. But uh, I've not used their fabric paint on literal fabric. I've used it, like I said, on papers, but not, you know. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple of these dots up here. How about the outside? Because I want it to be colorful. It's a day of the dead skull, sugar skull. I usually draw these every year. I draw a art journal, a 
painting, you know, acrylic painting. I have tons of videos. I love doing them. I've been, I think I've done one every year since I've been on YouTube and I've done giveaways with them. I've done them for other people. I love them. So this makes me very excited to be able to do this. Okay. So I have that. Now, what about if I open up the red? This is, did I, I didn't pull red. Wait, let me, let me get my red. And then I thought I did. Okay, let's get this. It's called Christmas Red. Huh. Let's do Christmas Red in the heart. I shook it. And then I just take a little bit out of the cap. That's how I like to paint usually everything. I can control the paint because I can be a waster by squirting out and either not squirting enough and then spending three hours squirting a little bit at a time to paint or just totally over squirting. Um, let me do that with your chin here. Just add a pop of color. My daughter sat last year and made, she took a bunch of, uh, is this canvas or muslin? I don't know. But she uh, sat with her embroidery thread, made tons of patches for herself by hand. I guess this one didn't go, uh, didn't get to go anywhere. She didn't put in anything, but I'm going to take it. All right, now I'm going to use some uh, Indian turquoise. This one, I add a nice pop up there next to that. All right. Let's make it here. I mean, look how fun this is. And they do, like I said, they do have brushes that you could buy specifically for. I'll just wipe that off there. For the paints, so, but... I don't have them and I'm just going to use this. I shouldn't, since I'm going to be doing painting a lot, I'm going to have to invest. And I think I'm going to put blue up here and then do some blue down here. And this becomes a little patch that when you're done, if you just cut around it, and you have that base, you can see the back, uh, and then you can sew it on your on your jacket or whatever. That's what she loves to do. Make her own. Okay, I think I need to pop a yellow now. So I'm gonna take this yellow, which is called primary yellow. I'm gonna give it a shake. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna lay down some yellow. There, a dot there. Let's go in here. I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can in here because of the heart, but you know, especially once I hang it up, or if she takes it on her for her jacket, who knows? But you can still, you know, you can see it. I'm gonna go for yellow inside here as well. I like the eyes being right. I should see if she'll let me show the other patches that she made in a video. She just sat on the couch with her embroidery flood thread and went to town. I have an idea on her head and I'm going to put a little yellow in there as well. Look how nice this is on the fabric. It really, it doesn't sink in like to become yeah, you know, sometimes if you use, no, I use acrylic paint on my fabric too. So I, I love doing that as well. Sometimes though, the weight of it, I guess there's something in this paint, like a um, fabric ingredient for the paint that makes it not sink in because um, I do have fabric, what would it be called? Uh, mediums, fabric mediums that I mix in sometimes when I use regular acrylic paint. So this has it already in there. So you can see it doesn't sink in. It sits on the top and you get a very nice, vibrant color, which I think is delish. All right, now I'm going to just go in with them teeth. I'm going to just use regular white fabric paint here. It's called Ultra White. And I'm, same thing, into the lid, into the teeth. Now I'm going to paint around here white too. So I'm just going to, I don't want my brush too wet with paint. I'm just going to kind of go in 
and drop it in. And all that is really is going to do is going to give it a little bit more dimension. A little too much on my brush. Just a little dimension. You can even use a, uh, if you have like a white uh, squirty, like even like uh, fabric paint in the, you know how it has the squirt uh, tubes or whatever, and you can just do a little, the words I use, I don't know, um, you know, in there. But you can see how that makes it pop just that little bit, and you still get that black outline. Now I'm going to use a different brush because I'm going to be doing a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more paint around. I don't want to take all day. So I'm just using this brush and laying it in. And I'll need the small, the small brush back when I go around the smaller parts. This probably is the worst brush I could have picked. <laughs> It's like a scrubby brush and I'm like why is it scrubbing well Cal, it's a scrubby brush I just want my little brush I just want a regular brush all right that's better there we go and you see it's nothing major you're just painting like you're painting on paper how fun just to sit and and doodle on which I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna doodle on some fabric like this and then I'm going to paint it. That's what I'm going to do. Because I love doing this kind of stuff. And I'm knitting and crocheting like a fiend. Lately so. I did get, I did, I posted on uh, Instagram my crochet that I was doing and quite a few of you asked me to uh, do a beginner video just on that so I might uh, I might that might be coming up just a very easy granny square because I am obsessed <laughs> You can see I'm not being too, too, too careful in all the things. And I'll tell you why once I'm done, what we can do. Because, I mean, it is, you know, you're painting and it is thread. So it's going to pick some of it up. Yeah, a little bit right there. A little bit here. You can see as it dries where you missed, which I love. And I think that's about, that'll be good for this. I'm going to see if I can convince her into making a couple more of these. Oh, I love it. Okay, so you see it's done, right? And that's all the thread around her. Now, you can see on some of the places, I'll lift it up in a second and rinse this off, that I hit some of the black. Oh, right here. Look how cool that looks though. That's going to look so cool when it's hung on the wall, right? It's like hung on the wall and you see it from far away. But you can see, you know, I got a little white there and you can definitely go in with your brush and you can see I'm doing it with my fingers. But if you get too much, you know, too much white on the black or whatever, you want the black a little bit darker, take a little bit of your black uh, fabric paint. I don't think you need to do it, but just in case, because, you know, you never know. And then just go and you put that little bit of fabric paint on and just lightly touch in those spots where you might have, you know, a little bit of paint showing on the thread. You know, no big deal. 
It only takes a second and you can go in with the eyes. You can go in and do it all everywhere. But I'm just going to leave it like that because I like it. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. I absolutely love it. So that was with the uh, Deco Art So Soft. I'm in love. I love fabric paint. I love painting on fabric. I like making things. So so excited that I found this. Thanks for sitting with me while I painted this. Uh, you'll probably see a lot more of this coming up um, because I just love doing it. And also this gave me an idea. Well, I'll talk about it in another video. Um, but uh, you'll be seeing a lot of this kind of stuff coming up because I am so excited. Uh, I'm, I'm just so excited. So I'll be painting a lot of fabric and, and doing a lot of embroidery. So I love you guys. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you've done anything like this. And let me know down below what you did. And um, any questions, as always, you can find me. All my social media is down below in the About section, in the More section. and uh, Or you can leave it in the comments. You can follow me everywhere. And... That's it. I love you guys and always be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Bye guys.